Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today with the brand new sheet load of cards, September 2022. I hope that you'll stick around, see the new sketch, find out what makes it extra special, see my first set, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always an exciting time around here when I debut the newest sheet load of cards. Now, if you're new to my channel or new to my sheet load of card series, what I do every month is stop by with a free printable for all of my subscribers that shows a new sketch and then gives you the supply list and cutting guides to make the most out of it or yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the layout and the size of paper we use. It is always a great way to either build up your own card stash, donate cards, or make sets for friends and family members. In today's video, I will be sharing a look at the new printable, a look at my first set of cards I created, and I will be sharing how you can download the free printable to use for yourself. Tomorrow, I will be back to share the process of the new sheet load of cards and give you a few tips and tricks along the way. And my team of collaborators is going to be showcasing their sets, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Now, if you don't already follow their channels here or their accounts on Instagram, I do have everybody listed in that description box below, so you can go ahead and do that and get a head start. Let's go ahead and take a look at the September 2022 sheet load of cards. Here is a look at the two page printable for September 2022. Like I mentioned in the intro, it is a little extra special. Not only will we be using six by six paper, the finish size is also a mini slim line and it has a tent topper. If you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you are going to yield 12 cards. So this is definitely a sheet load. Just like the past couple months, this is going to be a great one to build up your own card stash, maybe make cards for the upcoming holidays, make lots of cards for donation, or give sets away to friends, family member, coworkers, etc. And don't forget, there is always the option if you don't want to make that many cards, you can always use the single card dimensions that I give on that printable. As always on page one, I give you the new sketch and the supply list that you'll need to create that sheet load. This month, to yield those 12 mini slimline tent topper cards, you will need six pieces of pattern paper that are 6x6. Six six. Now, if you don't have any 6x6 six six paper, you can always cut down that 12x12 12 12 as well. You will need eight pieces of solid cardstock, and on one of those, which you'll see when I show you the cutting guides, you'll need a scrap as well. Once again, if you just want to make a few of these or one of these, I do give the dimensions here and I have some alternative ideas down here. One of those being if you don't have oval die cuts that are this size, you could always use different shapes or just hang a die cut image off the top. Now, if you are a channel member, I will tell you more tomorrow, but I do have some bonus cut files for you this month to help you make these more easily. So you have the correct sizes and that scalloped oval all ready to be cut on your electronic cutter. Because it is a pretty unique card, I do have a special note down here at the bottom, and that is just to make sure when you put the tent topper on your card base that it doesn't extend above what a mini slimline card would and not fit in your envelopes. 
Now, speaking of envelopes, that is one question I get frequently when I do a mini slimline card. So let me show you what I use. Online, you can get plenty of pretty colored, fancy mini slimline envelopes, but for myself, since I know they're pretty much just gonna be torn up and maybe recycled, I just get the standard envelopes you can find in big box stores. These are the number six and three quarters, and I actually got both of these at the dollar, or now the dollar and a quarter tree. On the left, I don't like to use these quite as much. They are security envelopes, but hey, in a pinch, these will work. And I got 80 for a dollar at the time. They also have at the Dollar Tree ones that have the self-sealing envelopes, and I do like these much better. There are only half as many though. Now another thing you might want to do if you have an office supply store around you, you could see if they sell like larger boxes of maybe 200 plus envelopes in this size, and that might be cheaper as well. So just a heads up, this is what I use, and I find it to be very economical, and my cards fit in that. And then finally at the bottom is just a note about those cut files I just mentioned for channel members. On page two of the printable, I'm going to show you how to cut each piece of your pattern paper and each piece of your cardstock. Now you will want to note this month because of that kind of fancy card base size, I do show you how to cut those and fold them. Normally on the sheet load, I would just have the little icons of A2 card bases. So you'll need for your oval focal point and your card bases, if you use white cardstock for both of those, you'll need four for your card bases and one in a scrap for your white ovals. Now you could definitely use scraps for all of these ovals if you have it, but you need at least that much. You'll see too down here on your card base cardstock, if you do want to put your sentiment on a separate strip, you do have some leftover pieces there to use. For the pattern paper, you can select three of two different patterns and then just mix and match those on your final cards. But you will see that on mine, I have three sets of two pattern papers that coordinate together. That will just help the cards look a little bit more different. On the bottom, I show you how to cut each of your coordinating color card stocks for the matting and for your scalloped ovals. Now again, if you're going to use your electronic die cutter or if you have scraps of this color cardstock, you could definitely use that for those die cuts. And also, you don't have to use exactly a two and a half by three and a half inch oval for this. Use what you have in your stash that's close and will work for your focal points. Another thing I want to point out on page two is my channel member supported blurb. I do just want to give a great big thank you and shout out to all of my channel members. Your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and a sheet load of cards free for all. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. It starts as low as $1.99 a month, and the most popular perk is probably the visual archive, which is a form that you can see a little thumbnail of each of the sheet loads, and there's a direct link to download it. Let's take a look at the products that I'll be using for my first set of cards. In front of me are the main supplies that I use for my first set using September 2022 and I wanted to share a look at those before I share a look at the cards with you. The main supplies, the stamp set, the pattern paper, and the ephemera were part of a not too shabby kit from a couple months ago. Now unfortunately this kit is sold out. But if you're watching this video close to the day it debuts, which is September 1st, Not Too Shabby is debuting their newest kit, which I have a look at up on screen now. These usually go fast, and I can tell with these beautiful fall papers and stamps and ephemera that this one will go quick too. So if you do want to find out more information about that, I will have a link to the box of the month in that description box. 
One thing you'll notice when you see my cards is that instead of using stamps and coloring them or just using a big bold sentiment focal point, I actually use some of the ephemera from the kit. This is a great way not only to use your ephemera, but you can create cards without having to color in an image. So since this month did make 12, I wanted something kind of quick and easy and the ephemera fit that bill for sure. When you choose your pattern papers, you do need three sets of two. So they could be the same set. So you could just do, you know, three sets of this. For mine though, I did choose three different sets of two. You can also, like these papers are double-sided, you could also see if you could mix and match those as well. For my sentiment, I used a couple from the Honey Bee Kisses stamp set from Not Too Shabby. And since I'm not stamping on that oval focal point, I did want to add some extra texture. So I did that with the Honeycomb Embossing Folder from Tailored Expressions. For my colored cardstock and my ink, I used Gina K Designs Blue Raspberry. And then of course I needed some white cardstock for the card bases and those oval focal points. Now in Tamara's video, any other tools or products I added, I will tell you about. So you're definitely going to get more details then. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at that first set. I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at my first set of cards using the September 2022 sheet load. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel before you click on the link, which I will tell you where it is at here in just a couple seconds. We do just go on the honor system here, so please make sure if you're not already to click on the subscribe button below, and hey, maybe even go ahead and ring that bell for notifications while you're there. You will find the link to this month's printable at the very bottom of my description box below. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far to find out where the link is, is your password. You can click on the link and use it on screen, or you can download it to your device and print it out for use like I have. I have printed mine in color, but you can always print yours in black and white and it will work just as well. Don't forget if you want to show us your sheet load to use the hashtags at the top, and until tomorrow, when I will be back with the process and my team of collaborators will be joining me, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.